Welcome to my YouTube channel, everyone. Welcome to Solve Math Like a Boss. So today, uh, our discussion is all about domain and range of a function. How to get the domain and range of a function. Una, alam natin na pag sinabing domain, ibig sabihin yan, all possible values of x. Kapag naman range, ibig sabihin, all possible values of y. Na may restriction tayo. Dapat, bawal yung undefined. Bawal ang zero denominator. Pangalawa, bawal ang imaginary. Okay? Kailan ba nangyayari ang imaginary? Kapag negative yung radicand. Kapag square root or fourth root tapos negative number. yon magiging imaginary siya. Okay? So, don't forget to subscribe. So, let's start. Yan. So, the first given is f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So, how are we going to get the domain and range of that? So, magkali lang ito. Kapag ganito ang case nyo, ano lang naman siya, wala kang denominator na variable, wala ka ring radical sign, ibig sabihin, ang pagkuha ng domain yan ay ganito lang. Okay? Para makuha natin ng domain, bak sinabi natin domain, all possible values of x. Sulat lang natin, Yung f of x can also be written as y is equal to 2x plus 1. So, if wala kang denominator, wala kang variable na denominator, gaya na sabi ko kanina at wala kang radical sign, ibig sabihin, hindi mo na kailangan mag-isip pa ng domain. Automatic, ang domain natin ay all real numbers. In symbol, it's going to be r. Yan yung symbol natin. Now, in interval notation, kung interval notation ang hinahanap, um, we can write um, the domain of the function as negative infinity comma positive infinity. Wherein, itong negative infinity at positive infinity, yun yung dalawa nating endpoints. Now, since sabi naman natin all real numbers, ibig sabihin, to infinity and beyond yung positive and negative natin na pwedeng ipalit dyan sa function. Ibig sabihin, Kahit anong ipalit mo ang ng x, hindi siya magiging undefined or imaginary yung function natin. Okay? Now, to get, now, to get the value or to get the range of a function, something that we need to do, ito sa domain, naka-isolate yung y. Sa range naman, ia-isolate natin ng x. Ganun lang yun. And then solve for the range. I-isolate natin ang x ang gawin natin. Lipat natin yung 1 sa kabila. So, magiging y minus 1 equals 2x. And then, pag sinabi isolate, walang numerical coefficient except 1. So, divide both sides by 2. Magiging na to. x is equal to y minus 1 over 2. Kung makapansin nyo, yung, yung function natin ay nagkaroon ng denominator, yung inverse ng original function. Diba sabi ko sa inyo, bawal ang denominator. I mean, pwede pala, pero magkakaroon lang tayo ng restriction kapag may variable sa denominator. And since ang denominator naman natin ay constant, ipagpapin, anong value mo ng y, hindi mo ipagpapin dito na hindi magiging undefined or imaginary. So ang range natin ay all real numbers pa rin. Ayan. Or simple r and in interval notation, um, it's going to be negative infinity sama positive infinity. O, di ba? Madali lang kapag ganito. Now, second example, the given is f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Kung mapapansin nyo, may denominator. Pero gaya nga nang sabi ko kangina, huwag nyo pansin eh, kung may denominator, basta wala kang variable sa denominator, wala kang magig I mean, wala kang magiging problema sa pagkuha ng domain. So, sulat lang natin, y is equal to 2x minus 3 over 5. The denominator is a constant. So, ibig sabihin, anything, any value uh, that you will substitute 
to the variable x will result to a real number. So it means that the main are all real numbers pa din. Okay? Simple lang R, infinite notation, negative infinity, comma positive infinity. Next range. Kapag na naman natin ang range, x naman ang i-isolate natin. So y is equal to 2x minus 3 over 5. Nagkakaroon nyo lang dito, yung denominator nyo, i-multiply nyo doon sa y. So magiging 5y equals 2x minus 3. And then, lipat natin sa negative 3, y plus 3 equals 2x. And then, naging positive na kasi change the sign, di ba? And then, divide both sides by 2. So, magiging x is equal to 5y plus 3 over 2. Just like uh, the domain, wala kang goal. So, ang range natin ay all real numbers and in interval notation, we have negative infinity comma positive infinity. Yan. Next. Number three. Function. Now, look at number three. This is different from the first two examples. Kasi rin yung mabuti ha. So, y is equal to 1 over x plus 2. Now, dito nagkaroon pa ng variable sa denominator. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong restriction sa pagkuha ng domain. Paano natin kukunin yung restriction na yun or yung restricted value or values? Ang gagawin lang natin is to equate, equate natin sa 0 yung denominator. x plus 2 is equal to 0. Yung lipat natin sa 2, magiging x is equal to negative 2 kasi change the sign. So, ibig sabihin, this negative 2 is our restricted value. Ito yung magiging value. Ito po kapag substitute natin dito, sa x, magiging negative 2 plus 2, negative 2 plus 2, magiging 0 yung denominator natin. E di ba, bawal na 0 ang denominator. So, ibig sabihin, this is our restricted value. And para natin gagawin ang domain? Ang domain po ay all real numbers except negative 2. Yan lang. In symbol, pwede natin gawin ay ganito, all real numbers, and then the symbol for x, and negative 2. Kung gusto nyo na pa symbol. This is in symbol, this is in word form, and in interval notation naman, pwede natin gawin. Now, itong restricted value natin sa interval notation will be our point of reference. Okay? Siya yung gagawin natin endpoint kasi nga hindi siya kasama. So, pwede natin ilagay dito na negative infinity ma negative 2 and then i-close natin yung parenthesis. Kapag naka-parenthesis to, ibig sabihin yung negative 2 not included. Okay? This is negative infinity, ibig sabihin lahat na kasama except dito sa negative 2. And i-unite natin siya with negative 2 pa din. Ha? Ito yung end point natin. Kung baga pag kasamahin natin ang pinuto lang natin na para masabi natin na hindi kasama si negative 2. And positive infinite na kasi lahat ng positive ay pasok dyan. Ito yung interval notation natin. Okay? Yung negative 2, ito yung restricted value natin. Yun yung maging point of reference natin. Okay? Ang ginawa lang natin dito sa unang itong sa part na ito ay yung kung magna number line tayo, yan, kung ito yung negative 2, Ibig sabihin yung negative 3 going to the left, pas ito yon Tapos, ito namang part na to ay negative 2, negative 1, 0, to the right, pasok, except negative 2. Okay, yan yung ating domain. Pag naman nakukunin natin ang range, so gagawin lang natin y is equal to 1 over x plus 2. Ano sabi ko kanina? Di ba i-isolate yung x, imumultiply lang natin doon sa y hindi lang natin kasi dapat yan ay na i-distribute pero huwag na papagrapan ng sarili nyo x plus 1. Yan. Since i-isolate natin yung x, kailangan mawala ang y, divide muna natin both sides by y. So magiging y x plus 2 over y, ah, sorry. Masalad na to, x plus 2 is equal to 1 over y. Okay? And then, ilipat natin si Tudz doon sa right side. So, magiging x is equal to 1 over y minus 2. 
kasi so dito naging minus na. And tingnan natin yung denominator natin. Nagkaroon tayo ng variable. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin kunin ang restricted value. How? By equating the denominator y by 0. Since wala lang naman, wala lang naman isasolve. Ibig sabihin, ang restricted, restricted value natin ay 0. Yan. So meron tayong point of preference which is 0. So ang ating range um, all the numbers zero. So in in the notation, in reference natin zero, di ba hindi sa kasama. So gawin natin negative infinity, lahat ng negative kaso kama zero, and then close natin, and then unite natin yun yun, and then zero, and then positive infinity. Yan na. Next, number four. The given is f of x is equal to x squared. Madali lang kunin ang domain kasi walang denominator. Variable sa denominator at walang squared. So y is equal to x squared. So automatic, huwag nang dissipate all real numbers agad. Or in internal notation, negative infinity kama positive infinity. Yan. And for the range, diba magiging y is equal to x squared po to? we need to isolate x. Ito naman ang i-isolate yeah, natin. So, are we going to cancel yung square natin yung 2? Kunin natin yung opposite ng squaring a number. And the opposite of squaring a number is to extract square root. So, mag square tayo both sides para ma-cancel. So, x is equal to square root of y. Okay? Ngayon, meron na tayong panibagong isosolve. Kanina, tinitinan lang natin yung variable sa denominator. Ngayon, May square root na. Diba? Bawal ang imaginary. Kapag may square root tayo, nagiging imaginary siya kapag negative yung radikan, yung nasa loob. So, ibig sabihin, ang value ng y ay negative 1. Negative 1 ang value ng y, imaginary na siya. And restriction na yun. Ang value natin ay negative 2, restricted pa din siya. Okay, nakukuha nyo. So, sabihin, lahat ng negative numbers, yun yung restricted values natin. Okay? Yan. Ang restricted values natin ay yung negative numbers. Okay? Mga negative. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin when ang range ay y is greater than or equal to zero. Nakukuha nyo yung inequality. Great. Equal to 0 kasi pwede yung 0. Pwede mong ipalit yung 0 dito. Kasi pwede yung 0, 0 din naman eh. So, hindi ka magiging imaginary. Ang greater than 0, yun yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, infinity. So, ito yung inequality natin. Ito na yung range natin. This is now our answer. Now, kung gusto nyo ng interval notation, ganito lang ang mangyayari. Since pasok si 0, at siya yung point of reference natin, ibigyan bracket ang gawin natin open bracket, it means this point zero is also included. Tama, negative infinity. Yan. Ganito yung symbol natin. Infinity matic, parenthesis yan. Infinity naman na yan. So, uh, ito yung end point mo, tapos ito yung isang end point mo. Now, ito kasi include ng zero. Hindi namang zero, ibig sabihin, parenthesis yan. Okay? Next, last number. Now, in finding the domain of this, o oh, alam nyo na ang pagkuha, diba? So, y is equal to square root of x minus 4. So, dito, kailangan natin mo nang i-equate sa 0. So, y is equal, sorry, x minus 4 is equal to 0. And then, lipat natin, x is equal to 4. This is our point of reference. Then, kapag sinapitute natin yung 4 dito, magiging 0 siya. Hindi pa bawal ang negative. Ngayon, kapag ang sinubstitute natin, kung magna-number line tayo, or kukot ng ikas natin, kung tayo ng to the left or to the right, kayo bahala. Kung gusto mo ng 3 ang itutest natin, dito dito sa number line, una si 3. Kung sinubstitute natin ng 3 dito, 3 minus 4, negative. So, ibig sabihin, itong part na to ay restricted. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung shishida natin. We can say, 
yung domain. Yung domain natin ay uh, x is, pwede si 0, di ba? Greater than or equal to 4. Yan yung domain natin. Kasi, pag greater than equal to 4, magsisiro to. So, pwede. Pag naman greater than, yun, alimbawa, pag talit natin ng 5 sa x, 5 minus 4, 1, positive. So, yun, yun, hindi ka imaginary. Pag negative, okay, pag mas mababa, 3, magna-negative ka. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, this is now our answer. This is our domain. Or, oh, ayan. Or, in interval notation, we can write that as it's included si 4, so open bracket. Ayan, bracket tayo. Kama, um, it is infinity. Okay? After ng 4, infinity and beyond na. So, this is our symbol. Okay? And for the range, if y is equal to Square root of x minus 4. Opt of root is squaring a number or a base or an expression. So squared squared. So magiging y squared is equal to cancel na square root x minus 4. And nililipat na natin y squared um, plus 4 is equal to x. Nakutin na natin, ah, walang simple sa denominator. Ah, walang, walang square root. So pwede natin sabihin na all real numbers. Hindi. Kasi dito sa original pa lang natin, yung x squared minus 4, na siya, dito range, nakadepende siya kay domain. So yung values ng y natin, nakadepende kay x. Ngayon, dito sa original natin, alam natin na kapag nag-negative number ka dito, negative x, ano po, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, sure na yun, matik na, na nagiging imaginary tayo. So ibig sabihin, dito pa lang, dito na yung negative. Nakukuha niyo ba? So since dito na negative, so, restricted value na natin dito ay or value is not na negative numbers. Bawal na yan. Ngayon, ang dito na natin itong function na to, masasabi natin na all real numbers, di ba? Pero may restricted value na negative numbers. Ang range natin, ang y natin is greater than or equal to zero. Kasi, pasok si zero, hindi naman siya negative. Nakukuha ba? Kung baga si, kung yung iisipin natin na all real numbers isang malaking bilog and then lahat ng negative tatanggalin na natin kasi restricted na siya sa original pa lang. So y is greater than or equal to 0 now in symbol, open bracket, and then 0, comma, positive, infinity. Yan na po yung pagkuha ng domain and range ng function. Okay. I hope na natutok kayo and thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe.